Okay, let's review. So we have crappy defense, shaky goaltending, lots of fights, and losing. I think the Leafs were taking 80s night a little too seriously. Yeah, you know what would have made it better? If they brought Molly Ringwald out for the ceremonial face-off. Boom! You ready? Ding, ding. Big news. What? Whoosh. Seriously? Uh, no pigs yet. What? Uh, what was he doing? Wow. Bring him on. Beautiful. You know, Molly Ringwald. She was in the breakfast club. Oh, forget it. Leafs lose 5 to 2 to the Calgary Flames. And they got burned. They got scorched. Well, that's what most media outlets will say anyway. But, Flames fans that are watching, vouch for me. The Flames played a crappy game, did they not? Brent Sutter looked mad pretty much the whole game, and after the game, he was still upset after winning by three goals. Because the Flames played awful, but the Leafs were awful or -er. It's a word, but who would you rather be? The team that played a bad game and got no points, or the team that had a bad game and got two? And Calgary's normally a better team than that, so the Leafs squandered that effort. And so many Leafs were minus three and minus two. In fact, the only Leaf with a plus rating was... No one! And then there's Rickard Wallin, who I've defended for most of the season. And he had an even plus minus against the Flames. However, he was in the box for a goal late in the game, and he played just 7 minutes and 7 seconds the entire game. And for better or worse, he's been on the Leafs' PK, but for the most part, it's worse. I think it's time for someone to have a seat. But here's the thing about the Leafs. They kept talking about accountability heading into the season. <clears throat> Hear ye, hear ye, on behalf of the Court of Leafs Nation, I hereby issue the Declaration of Shenanigans. On a team this awful, normally someone loses their job or is demoted, not just for a game, but for an extended period of time. Yeah, that hasn't happened. Okay, so you sent Frogren down to the Marlies before the season began. Ooh. But something needs to start happening in the accountability department. Otherwise, Carl Gunnarsson's going to take your job. Gunnarsson played 21 minutes and 18 seconds last night, second to only Thomas Caberlet in terms of defensive minutes. And he was tied with Francois Beauchemin for the most shifts with 27. And only six Leafs weren't a minus against the Flames, and Gunnarsson was one of them. Round of applause for that NHL debut. And for a great deal of the night, he was paired with Luke Shen, playing over 18 minutes this game, and he also also didn't have a minus. And Kessel notched another assist, which means he's got seven points in six games now. So I mean, there were some positives to this game. But Jonas Gustafson got pulled. Oh, you finally say it. Well, I did leave it last for a reason. Because I can come out guns a-blazing and blame Gustafson for all the Leafs' troubles last night. Or I could call the rest of the team out for being awful, and they were. And we have ragged on Toscala all season for not being able to make that big save. But like Gustafson did last night, everyone's going to let in a softie every now and then. And some nights you got to rely on your goalie to bail you out. But when on earth are the other 18 skaters going to bail the goalie out? The answer for that may be next season because the Leafs are currently 9 points out of a playoff spot. A daunting statistic to overcome seeing as they only have 11 points. Looking at my calendar, the next six games are as follows. Ottawa in Ottawa, Carolina, Washington, Islanders, Tampa in Tampa, and Florida. With the exception of Washington, if you want to make the playoffs, you need to win like five of those games. Is that unrealistic? Yes. But not if you want to make the playoffs. Are you seeing my point? I don't think they're going to make it. Prove me wrong. Go ahead. So questions. How did you feel about Carl Gunnarsson's NHL debut? How do you feel about Phil Kessel so far? And who of any Leaf on the team right now? Do you put through waivers, or to the Marlies, or trade away for like a seventh round pick? Who's the one guy you just want gone? Because really there's only one player that Leafs fans want, and his name is Stanley. Peace, guys.